Welcome to the master stroke and this master stroke I am going to discuss about the FIJ and this session will be just introduction kind of thing about the FIJ. What is the FIJ? Facts, inference and judgment. Facts, inference and judgment. This is a just checking of the any of the statement, any of the statement if made by any of the person or any of the things, any observation has written, then that statement it is a fact or it is an inference or it is a judgment based on the based on the a statement we will able to decide what are the differentiating factor which is a uh, which is the factor which will make any statement it is a fact or it will be an inference or it will be a judgment that also will look but this season we are going to discuss introduction about the fij facts inference and judgment this is non rc topic or you can say verbal reasoning topic this is going to affect your verbal ability logic critical thinking and observation everything is going to affect what is the fij facts inference and judgment what is difference between facts inference and judgment judgment will be totally depends on their own opinion where own opinion of person will be very heavily dominated that is called judgment that is called judgment and what is inference inference will be own opinion will be little bit but most of the thing will be fact most of the thing will be fact then fact it will be little expanded based on the opinion and assumption that is called inference but if facts are elongated based on the lot of assumption and opinion that is called judgment then it is based on logic basically these all are the part of logic and logic is very interesting topic philosophically it is a very very large topic i cannot explain in one one session or two session or one or two master stroke because this is this is very close to my heart logic if i will uh, start to teach you maybe i will teach you continue 10 hours also that much vast topic is there and all the human activity and human behavior are interrelated to this logic how it is working then uh, here i'm not going to discuss in detail but one to master master stroke i will take based on the logic what is the actually logic and what is the mathematical and logical implication or verbal implication of logic then in-depth analysis of logic includes basically 16 different terms but for cat point of view only mentioned three terms are sufficient okay what are the three terms these three terms is like uh, whatever we have taken here f i and g means facts inference and judgment basically if you want to understand in depth of logic in depth of logic then 16 different type of terms are coming like facts inference judgment opinion observation so many things are there and all are interrelated to each other how it is interrelated that is only factor and that understanding it is not easy it is a little complicated you have, you have your thinking capacity should be very high and after then critical thinking critical reading so many things are there after then your then your uh, face reading will come your uh, your body position will come so many factors are there that will make any logic very assertive and very effective but here out of 60 we are considered only three to understand FIJ or you can say understand the type of statements that is called facts inference and judgment what is logic in just a nutshell we are not able to explore that much then in nutshell logic is a mix of observation assumption and opinion this you can say it is just like a your cream like cream out of milk understanding what is observation again it is a very complex biological sociological and philosophical or and psychological you can say mix of these four will make the observation everybody will see the same thing but one one body will become a terrorist one person will become a become a very nationalist depends on our observation how observation is going to brain how that picture or the how that observation is affecting your brain that is a biological and how your brain is bended or how your brain is functioning how your brain is making the conclusion that is depends on your sociological factor then you can say observation itself is a very vast topic but logic is a mix of observation assumption and opinion i will not go in depth otherwise it will take another two three hours just will make full stop here we'll just uh, start to continue what is the fij the combination or proper mix of number of observation will give a fact what is a fact fact is a combination or proper mix of number of observations like you have observed so many things together and you have mixed all and you make one fact then fact you can say mathematically because everything i am trying to convert mathematically means understanding will be easy you can say summation of observation it is a called fact what is summation summation means sum of all the observations if you are making the summation of all the observation that is called facts and if you are making the summation of all the assumption that will be called judgment 
means whatever assumption you are putting all the level of assumption and all type of assumption you will just make the summation it will create the judgment what is inf inference hello what is inference i have taken i have just called the three terms facts inference and judgment where inference has gone inference will lie between facts and judgment no need to worry it will be in between then combination of summation of observation and summation of assumption leads to inference and conclusion then you can say just pictographically summation of observation or facts if you will put summation of assumption here it will be conclusion you can say it is a just part of critical re critical uh, critical reasoning it is a just like a their uh, critical reasoning we will uh, we will we will study in the form of argument assumption and conclusion but here we are studied in the form of facts inference and judgment in critical reasoning not only identification of a statement is important there they will not going to ask which is the assumption and which is the argument which is the conclusion but in this chapter particularly fij that will be sufficient if you are able to identify which is the fact which is the inference and which is the judgment no need to again just a strengthening the assumption or strengthening the inference or making weakening your judgment that all will be not required only identification will be sufficient if you are able to identify based on the certain rules or based on the certain cheat code you will able to able to solve the question okay this is fact maybe four statement will be given and four choices will be there like four statement first statement is fact second is inference third is uh, third is judgment and fourth is fact then option choices will be f i j f that will be correct I mean, just you have to make that order then judgment you can say it is a just personal opinion whatever your opinion that opinion is 100% truth for you 100% correct for you but it is not necessary it will be correct for others or it is not necessary it will be correct universally because that opinion is built it based on my observation based on your observation whatever you observed and what you will observe what you will learn again lot of factors are there then everybody having certain limitation certain filter system whatever we will see everything we will not able to observe apple was falling down from last million millions of year from the tree but newton has seen apple is falling down from tree and he has invented about the gravitation that is based on observation same apple have seen millions of people billions of people nobody able to understand that is gravity but newton's able to understand that is gravity Newton's able to understand that is gravity. Einstein, once light is coming from sun to earth, it is taking eight minute to reach. Then he understood if light can reach, some medium will be there. If some medium is there, if light is keep on flowing, then maybe energy and matter having certain relation. But other people from Einstein, before Einstein, millions of people have come millions year era. This civilization is keep on going. Earth existence was there, but nobody has known what is the relation between energy and mass. Now we are knowing based on the Einstein inquiry, if a mass you will just throw at the speed of light, it will become energy. It will vanish like one kg weight of a stone or anything that is not irrelevant. You are throwing gold, diamond or a stone. It is irrelevant for physics. It is a just weight, one kg weight. It is a diamond. Maybe you, you will go to the cell, then uh, you will get different rate. If it is a silver, gold, a diamond, or maybe simple stones. But just I am telling one kg weight of a stone, if you are throwing at the speed of light, 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second, then what will happen? That a stone will be banished. It will totally convert it into energy that we have known after Einstein. But before it was happening, we were not able to understand. And based on that concept has come like universe, concept of universe black hole and how stars are emerging and how in a stars will be go inside the black hole. So many complicated concept is there. My purpose was here observation and personal opinion. Everything will depends person to person it is very subjective. Same issue has observed by Newton. Then he has invented gravity. Same thing observed by Einstein. He has invented about the complete energy mass theorem e equal to mc square. But other people have not. Other people also observed same. The other people also seen same event many of the times. But we are not able to understand. Then uh, you can say FIJ just will categorize and just will try to conclude. This is facts. Facts will be no conclusion, no assumption. Fact is fact. 1857, India's first revolution against British happened. That is fact. Where anywhere, if data has given, then first thing it should be fact because data cannot say wrong. If data is not telling wrong, what is the guarantee of that? Again, we have to just make one 
make one uh, one inquiry this data has taken from authentic source or not this data has taken from authentic source or not same statement just i will repeat in 1774 at the battle of baksar at the battle of Baks baksar mughal was totally defeated and that was the landmark for british british uh, rule in india that is also correct but how much is was correct historically historically historian are accepting till 1857 mughal rule was there in india and after it 1857 last ruler of mughal was uh, captured by british and he has sent to the uh, like some other city and he has become like pensioner and afterwards only complete rule has come under the british then based on the based on the source which source we are taking we have to just take the authentic source or acceptable source only data will not sufficient like uh, initial five second five year plan and third five year plan of india just after the independence initial 10 to 15 years india was growing at the rate of 2.6 percent per annum can you imagine now india is growing around six percent then we are telling economy is going down but that time india was growing 2.6 to 2.7 percent and that time one of the historian has told this is hindu rate of growth hindu cannot grow, grow beyond that hindu cannot grow more than 2.6 or 2.7 percent growth because they are not having the sense of a nationhood who are growing well who are having the sense of nationhood these all are again matter of debate but i was just trying to emphasize what is the fact fact will be wherever data will be there that is one of the criteria that will be fact but one thing is sure for fact all no conclusion no assumption second is inference and judgment inference and judgment for both of the category conclusion should be there assumption should be there both will be there just suppose if assumption is there don't take all these whatever category i am i am just uh, teaching to you or i am showing to you it is taken from some books or it is very fixed academic category this is just a flow diagram i am making to ease of understanding like here assumption assumption we can categorize in two way like inference and judgment like to to infer like we are telling it is one of the english word infer how we are infer from any of the statement that is called inference means whatever fact is given just will take the inference or we will infer from that a statement means same fact we will just a restatement or we will just rephrase that is called inference due to always a facts will be always involved second maybe not fact but a relevant fact should be there we will just put little bit of masala indian people are very good in that they will heard something they will heard something from somewhere they will put little bit of masala they will tell to some other person they will put little bit more masala they will tell to some other person that is called inference but sometimes we will put more masala it will become a totally wrong it will become a judgment where we know fact fact is useless Fact is useless because sometimes people will tell Modi, Modi chod hai. Modi chod hai, no fact. No fact is there. This is totally personal opinion. This is totally political opinion. There is no fact. No, no relevant fact is there. But totally judgment. Masala is more. Fact is almost negligible. But if some fact is there, you have put little bit like, okay, economy is going down. This is a fact. Nobody can ignore either Modi or BJP or maybe any other person. Nobody can ignore. Fact is there. But same thing we can represent in positive way also, negative way also. Then here inference and judgment. Just we'll take one example. I think this example will make you will make you to think in different different way. Because I will just made one statement in different different way. Just a rephrase of a statement. Like a statement one: India made 325 runs versus Australia in a tri series. What you can say it is. 325 runs versus Australia. Everything has given which team against which team he has made, who has made, and in which series he has made. Directly, you can say it is a fact. No need to think because any of the thing here, like possibility, possibility of that uh, possibility, like grammatically, like would, could, or can be, maybe. If it is there, means you cannot say it is a fact because that is showing the possibility or degree degree of happening. Like if you, I will tell, I may become a, you may become a president of India. It is a degree of certainty, degree of uncertainty. It cannot be a fact. It may be your personal opinion. You will become one day president of India. Maybe may not be. Everybody is having capability. Everybody is having eligible to become a president of India. To become a president of India, eligibility is only you should become a 25 years old and you should become a citizen of India. That much only. Only two eligibility. Nothing more. Then everybody is eligible. 
whatever 1.3 billion people of india is there everybody is eligible to become a president of india but, every, but everybody will become no then these all will be there this you can say it will be a judgment it is a not fact but here india made 325 runs versus australia in a tries race this is fact just i will refer rephrase this is statement one i will make a statement two india made 325 runs dot 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 means this complete statement is there india made 325 runs versus australia in a tries race Afterwards, another one statement has added, India have a good chance to win. What is this one? This is a fact, inference or judgment. I am just using some conservative word. I am not using very strong word like India will surely win. Nobody can stop at this juncture if India has made 325 run. Maybe somebody will tell Tendulkar has made the century and India will always win. And this match Tendulkar has made 125 run and India will win. This is all of our assumption. This is all over the belief system. We are just dry, driven by our belief system. You cannot believe. I will take one session about the belief system, how it will affect you. Then I India have a good chance to win. I am I am here. This is a statement, whatever I am making the statement, I am some conservation. I have, have some conservation. I have India have a good chance to win. Inference? It is a just inference. Fact is India made 325 runs. This run is in one day any of the match. It is a good score, very good score and opposition always get in trouble to chase 325 runs. This is fact. Then India is having good chance to win. Australia, Australia may be a strong team. He is, able, he is capable to chase 325 runs, but always it will not easy to chase 325 runs. Then India is having little upper hand and he is having the good chance to win. Now I will little bit twist more. Now statement three, India made 325 runs versus Australia in a tri series. Next statement, any batsman might be made century. They are telling, this statement is telling in 325 runs, that is chances are there one of the, any of the batsmen, they made the century. They are using the word might. They are not using will or should or shall. Means very strong, but they are not using. Any batsman might be made century. Inference? Maybe, may not be. It is not necessary. It is not necessary. But we have put little bit assumption because this is very huge score, 325 run. Somebody who not made century, making 325 run is little difficult. But many of the time will happen. Any of the team will make 350 run, but not a single batsman will make the century. Two, two batsmen will make 90, 90 run, 95 run. Another batsman will make 75 run. Total team score will be 350. Maybe chances are there, but maybe very huge chances are there. Maybe somebody has put the century. This is again inference. Now I am coming to a statement four. India made 325 runs versus Australia in a tri series. Australia changed 348 runs on same pitch last year versus England. Chances of winning India is 50-50. Now, sojana padega. Now, this statement is telling Australia ne isi pitch pe England ke khilaaf 348 runs change kiya tha. So 325 kya hai? Kar sakta hai? जब 348 कर सकता है वो चेज सेम पिच पे वर्सेस इंग्लैंड इंग्लैंड इज आल्सो फेयर टीम गुड टीम और मे बी समटाइम्स बेटर रैंकिंग कंपेयर टू इंडिया बट यू कैन जस्ट कंपेयर सेम रैंकिंग टीम देन द 348 ही चेज डाउन देन व्हाई नॉट 325 कैन वी से इट इज अ फैक्ट और इनफेरेंस और जजमेंट वी कैन नॉट से इट इज अ फैक्ट बिकॉज लाइक one time if some some team has chased down 348 always it is possible always it is possible no it is not always possible then this is a fact this second statement you can say up to here this is fact if i am not adding this line just try to understand little bit more concentration needed if last line i have not adding chances of winning india is 50 50 then you can say this is complete fact India made 325 runs, 325 runs versus Australia in tri series, and Australia chased down 348 runs on same pitch last year versus England. Both are facts. But once we are adding this, this one, chances of winning India is 50-50. Then if we are just consider separate, separate statement, then this will become an inference, and this will become fact. This will become fact. But combinedly, it will become an inference. Because again, we are not using any of the strong word. Now we'll come to the a statement five. What is the statement five? India made 325 runs versus Australia in a tri series. India will win the match if ballers not performed well also. What is this one? This is this stupidness. He is telling India will win whatever 
any of the condition maybe bowlers has performed well or not performed well also india will always win this is your opinion this is your emotional attachment to cricket this is your emotional attachment to cricket this is your personal opinion this is your judgment this is a different kind of a statement same facts we can rephrase rephrase in different different way to put little little bit assumption and little little bit little bit more information and we will able to re restate the statement and we will able to decide it is a fact inference or judgment then just continue to learn at the rate of www.parolikho.com thank you